1998. My guest here today, if you would, introduce yourself. Josh Whitaker, uh, 215, two-time state champ. 215-pound state champion in 1998 and 1999. Of course, we have both videos. This is the 1998 video. Of course, follow the playlist below, and we'll, of course, do his 99 video. But before we get to your bracket, we have, we've done, uh, we've done videos from 1998 with uh, Dietry from LaRue County and Chris Floyd with, uh, from uh, Wayne County. Yes. I don't know for certain, but I don't think that there's been three or two years back to back where the same guys have won all three weight classes back to back years. You know, Dietry 98, 99, 189 pounds. You, 98, 99, 215, and then Chris Floyd, uh, heavyweight, 98, 99. So pretty much those last, you know, 98, 99, the upper weights are pretty much locked down, <laughs> which is pretty, I mean, pretty cool knowing that, you know, you three are in the top, the top spots. Mm -hmm. uh, we've already done, like I said, videos with Dietrich both years and Chris Floyd. You need to check them out after you watch these. But let's get into your wrestling career. How does a young Josh Whitaker find wrestling? Um, I just started in recreation, I guess is how I first got going in our recreation program. And then uh, just transitioned into middle school. Um, coach Carl was our middle school football coach. You know, of course he was mm -hmm. a high school coach. Right. Um, so, you know, he just kind of pushed it. Well, I won't say pushed, but uh, guided people mm -hmm. that he thought could, could benefit from it. Um, and then the middle school coach at the time was our high school football coach. Okay. So it was uh, Buck Stewart. So it was a, kind of a natural transition, I guess you could say. Well, that's, I mean, that's what you see. For, like, I know uh, Jim Matney at Johnson Central and Sheldon Clark, uh, Tony Harris and all the Christian County and Hopkinsville guys, most of their wrestlers come from the football team. And like, a couple guys earlier today, you know, football got them into it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you play football, Get into wrestling. Yep. It's the best thing you can do for your cardio self, and tackling, cardio, you name it. I mean, it's just the best thing you can possibly do. But as a sophomore, uh, 215 pounds, you come in uh, third place. Of course, yep. Woodford County wins the team state championship that year. You had Ian, Chris Dunn, JoJo, all those guys on the, on the team. So you had a really, really, really good team in that 1997. I think the 97 uh, Woodford County team the 2006 Woodford County team and the 2020 Union County are probably the top three teams that's ever come through the state. Uh, there's a case to be made also for the 2003 Oldham County squad that was really good, but those are probably the top four teams that's come through the state, just team from top to bottom right. with just absolutely just hammers from 103 to heavy. Of course, you probably win your district in region 98. There's probably no competition there, correct? Uh, from what I can remember. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's yeah, fine. I mean, I've won districts and regions. So right. That's what my patches say. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of, you was, you, grew up, you come through in the district and region era. Um, first round of the state tournament, of course, we've got your bracket here. You wrestled Paul Perwitzki from Louisville Central. You win that by a pin in three minutes and four seconds. So you're here to make a statement. Next round, you wrestled Lewis Hansel from St. Xavier. Lewis went on to uh, get third place that year. You win that by a six to four decision. Semifinals, you're wrestling Nick Rittinger from Campbell County. Nick went on to get fifth place. And you get to the finals, you're wrestling C.T. Watkins from Covington Scott. And it says, uh, C.T.'s a senior. His record's 45 and two. Your record, it says, is 51 and three. Now, had you wrestled uh, C.T. before, before the state finals? I think so. Maybe, maybe in a mm -hmm. duel, maybe at state duels. I can't. Uh, uh, That's fine. I just just curious because a lot of guys can remember. Oh yeah, I remember wrestling. He beat me, I, and I was on yeah, a. Yeah, I didn't hits. remember um, that these guys getting place. I mean, I guess that was a pretty yeah, tough you, run through. You I mean, went to, I mean, <laughs> third and fifth place plus you know your state finals. So you had a pretty tough run. Now, I just got a question to um, guys that have been in the finals, you know, for the first time, especially at Frankfurt under the lights. There's, you win your semifinals, you have four, five, six hours, somewhere thereabouts to where you don't have a match. Do you remember what you did? Anybody giving you any advice, anything of that nature? That No, nothing really sticks out. Um, I mean, I'm sure I was nervous. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I didn't, I wasn't a cocky kid or anything. So right. I was, 
I tried to stay humble and, you know, just kind of keep my thoughts within myself and I understand. Uh, just prepare from what I remember. I, I'm, and everybody, you know, has a, their own routine. I just didn't know, especially with as many, because in 98, you would also have Ian on the team. You had Chris Dunn, both those have returned the state mm -hmm. champions. And over here looking on the wall, yeah, because if you can't tell to our left in the Wilford County uh, mat room, it's got all the state champions. So you had Chris, you, and Ian all in the finals. And, of course, all three of you win that year. Did your teammates give you any, hey, man, don't, you know, don't get under the lights and, you know, freak out or just wrestle your match or? Uh, no, I don't think so. You know, I guess being a Whitford County, mm -hmm. kind of used to it, I guess. I, mean, I, I, I can not, understand not that. Not sound cocky about that either, but, you know, seeing all those guys come before me and, and how they prepared JoJo and Ian, you know, and mm -hmm. Chris as well, um, watching them on their mat and how they conducted themselves, um, so I just tried to follow suit, you know, and I knew that's where we were supposed to be as a team, as Woodford County. You were, right. Um, you know, we were expected to, to compete for state titles and, and finals. And, and you guys, of course, all three of you win it. Now, have you seen your matches before? Or has it been a while? Yeah, it's, it's been a very long time, right. if, if I have. And that's I did cool. watch uh, the one with Lloyd that mm -hmm. you did. Um, yeah. So that was the first time I'd seen uh, that one in a long time, yeah, too. Yeah, Lloyd, uh, of course, we'll, when we get to 99, we'll yeah. get more into that because that was, that was pretty cool to, to get both of your guys' perspectives on it. But we're going to go ahead and get the space bar here. We're under the lights. This has to be a dream, you know, a dream come true, being under the lights, the spotlight, you know, music pumping, yeah, all your it, fans. It's really cool with the way using that uh, Frankfurt mm -hmm. mat. Yeah. With the contrast and colors and the light overhead, yeah, it was, it was, was really special. All right, let's, let's do it. Now, this has, 98 has the introductions, it has the match, and I think 90F has the uh, medal ceremony, so let's do it, man. Okay. <laughs> Woodford County always has a big cheering section. You know, Frankfurt's, you know, what, 30 minutes away? No, not even. Not even 30 minutes no. away. There you go, walking out. Very uh, calm, Undertaker-esque, <laughs> slow, slow moving, got the hood. Yeah, I mean, I'm, we had a ways to go for our, mm -hmm. you know, before our match actually took place, so. Here we go. Now, when you're neutral here, right out of the gate, what are we trying to do? Are we trying to, you know, just do a throw, a shot? What are we looking to do? Well, I got more into throws my senior year, but, um, just trying to set up and try to take a good shot. Right. You, you're a, you're a big 215. I know that's a, you know, the second hardest weight class. You can tell this, you're just a big body. You're tall. Yeah, I had a lot of, a lot of leverage over most of the competitors. Mm -hmm. Rush that shot didn't set it up very well. Oh, oh, oh. oh it gets you two. Yeah. Okay. He's pumped. You're slowly walking back, <laughs> like, you know, not rattled or anything. Now, on the bottom right here, what are we looking to do? We're looking to stand up, just. Probably get up, stand up, get away, you know, for reversal, switch is mm -hmm. there. Try to take advantage of it. It is. There it is. Okay. Go forward. Maybe looking for a cradle there. There it is. There you go. Reversal two. We're out. Now, I'm sure you probably have Coach Parks and Coach Carr in your corner, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, I didn't know if you had somebody different or. You can hear the Wolf County fans. Yeah. Let's go, Josh. I don't, I don't remember hearing them this match or this year. Mm -hmm. uh, my junior year, you know, as far as working on top, I was always looking for a pin. Um, 
Trying to leave. Trying to, there it is. There it is. Like get him turned. Well, no, he's, he's still down. That wasn't it. Okay, yeah, I think I had uh, 41 pins Did this really? year, my junior year. My goodness. I think it, at that time, I think it may have been a state record. I'm not sure. All right, now you look over at your corner and they give you an optional start sign. What, what do you remember anything, what they were wanting you to try right there? Any cutting, or neutral? Because we done a video earlier with uh, uh, Rusty Parks 2004 and he cut his his opponent three times and he looked at his corner and you know, let him go. Yeah. So I just didn't know if that was, they saw something that you were you know, better than on, like, on your feet or. Looking for the throw there, trying to get the overhook. Mm -hmm. Got the head down, come on, get your head out. End of the period. I think I've got it 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, 3-2. Three, two. Three, three, I, two. Gave, I, I let him go. Yep, 3-2. Yep, okay, 3-2. So he's going to take down 3-2. Or so. Hold on. That stop sign out there. You guys move really well for you know an upper weight. You guys are really really agile, really uh, good good scrambling. Yeah, I was just barely two fifteen my junior year. I had you know, I didn't have to cut weight or, or worry about cutting or you know I could eat what I want. And that's a good thing. All right, so you're looking back. An optional start again, looks like. Mm -hmm. Huh. Now we're at 4-2. Four 4-2. Two. Four two. Mm. Mm. Yep, yep, I believe so. Yep. Backing out. Okay. I never saw the first stall. I didn't call, either. I did, I... <laughs> Unless it happened, ref was out of frame or something. Yeah. I... So now he's been hit for stalling. You know now you got to push. You got to push. Yeah. You got to push. When I was... Looking for the my overhook, I believe, with my slip there. Yep. <laughs> uh, I believe with my left leg. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the center. Four, three. Yep. About 50 seconds, I believe, left. It looked like he knew what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all I'm doing is just looking for the throw. I'm not, I'm not looking for a shot, mm -hmm. but it's keeping him, you know, on the defense yeah, and so not being able to. He's backed up, you know, several times right there. And he's going to take well, injury time. I think we got him winded. Yep, and it cuts. That was the, the official tape. That wasn't me cutting. That no. was just. Do you remember that part of the match? Mm-mm. So now you're tied, 4-4. Hit, you, hit him with another stall, which was a good call. Yeah. All right, end of the period. Your choice, you took down without even thinking about it, knowing 
when you got to get yeah, points. Especially being tied. I think. Covered. There you go. And even though you're tied, even though you're down, at any point you remember, you felt like, oh my gosh, I'm in trouble, or. Uh, this one's slipping away or anything of that nature? Not during regulation. I do remember being really nervous when it when it went to overtime. Because mm -hmm. you know, I guess he rides me the whole the whole period. It's four four. A lot of guys I've talked to, you know, the match ended up being like three to four or uh, you know, two to four, whatever, something really close. And they'll say, I never felt like I was in trouble the whole time. I felt like I was in control. There you go, reversal. Oh, reversal. I thought it went to overtime. Uh, what was the score? Eight, six, okay, I thought it was six, yeah. four. Seven. I don't remember how he ties it up. There you go. Sounds like a bow and arrow for a bow and chain. Mm -hmm. He got to the got to the edge of the mat three or four times right there mm -hmm. in, in trouble, big trouble. He's trying for that switch, and that's you guys have hit that position several times mm -hmm. this match, but not. You no, know, he's been able to fight it off. Mm. Mm. Mm, it's gas. Yep. Yeah. Come back. Get set. I think that was an advantage I had too, was, exactly. was our conditioning, especially in these in these bigger weights. Yeah. You know, it looks like he's getting ready to... Oh, get turned, turn. Yeah. Oh. Whew. Oh. Oh. Says you locked hands. Do you remember that part? Kinda, yeah. All right, so now we're five so, to six. So I guess he's gonna get an escape. But yeah, our... our Conditioning, I think, set us apart as, as a team and rolling around in the, in the practice room with, with our heavyweight, yeah. uh, Kelby Cassidy, and, mm -hmm. and our other big weight, uh, Kevin Gray, 189. There you know, he goes. We're neutral. And some guy named Joshua Campbell, we don't know anything about him, though. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I, didn't, I don't remember that. Oh, so you're celebrating. You got, of course, your, your side saying it's good. Yeah, because Sparks but, telling me to, they took it away. Yep. Yeah, I don't remember that. Okay, so we're neutral. Yeah. Six, six, going in overtime. Overtime rules, 
are the first takedown, or first points, wins. He's already been hit for stalling, so if he gets backed up again, it's over. This is what dreams are made of right here. You're in the state finals, under the light, state championship. Yeah, I do remember being real nervous in, in this overtime. Two, that's it. <laughs> there it is, man. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good feeling. I can imagine. You know, especially to, to do it for Woodford County to, to join that wall. You know, that's a Oh yeah. There's a lot of names on that wall. A lot before me and mm. a lot after. And hopefully more to come. Yeah, and here you are on top of the on top of the world. Do you still have your state championship medals and all that? Uh, I've got one of them. That one, uh, that one's actually in Michael Jackson's okay. casket as well. My goodness. Yeah, and uh, Chris Dunn mentions yeah, that in he, his 1999 video. Yep, I saw him do it, and I was like, it's a really nice gesture. And, you know, Michael was, was, was my best friend, my me goodness. and Kevin Gray. But, mm -hmm. yeah, that's where that one's at. But, um, yeah, I've still got my other one. It's, it's put up somewhere. I got my rings out, and I sat them out of my dresser and I was getting ready and I was kind of rushing to try to get here, but that's where they're still sitting. Uh, but well, you can send me uh, photos of them. And we'll, <laughs> okay. you're, you're looking at photos here of Joshua's uh, 98, or I guess it'd be what, 98, 99 championship rings? No, that was, uh, that'd been 97 ring. It's team, oh, team, team, team titles. Okay, I'm sorry. So 97 and 99. Okay, yep. You're, so you're seeing the photos of them here. That's pretty cool that they get, uh, give the team uh, rings for that. That is pretty cool. So went to overtime. You got to take down in overtime. Um, any uh, any closing thoughts? Any memories about this? That well, watching that does does bring back a lot of memories. I um, you know forgot some of the aspects of it, but yeah, to watch it there at, at the at the dungeon because um, that's where we graduated high school as well. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't I don't know when they stopped doing that. Obviously, you know it's tore huh. back, tore down now. So it, that that place holds a Pretty special place in, oh, yeah, in my heart. Pretty you know, cool. A lot of memories there. Um, so yeah, I, that, that was fun. That All was... right. Now, of course, this was '98. We have the '99 video, and we've already got one. At the 1999 video, we've already got one aspect. Now we're going to get the the champion side of it. So follow the playlist down to the 1999 215 pound video, and we'll see you guys there. But if we don't see you there, we'll see you on the mats. <laughs>